Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a highly requested video from you guys. It is my flawless full coverage face routine. Hopefully you guys learned some new tricks. So I'm super excited to do this one. You guys have been asking me for this for a long time, so I pretty much owe it to you now to just do it. First I wanna tell you guys about this So Schwab box. This is actually not a subscription box, but if you are somebody who just cannot be bothered to actually go into the store and you know get matched and try all these things and wait for the employee to give you a sample or or if you don't like going to those really high-end makeup counters but you still want to try out products you can do this box so I ordered a few things from this website and it's just really cool and I want to tell you guys about it because I can't believe I didn't know about this box because I am somebody who this box is like made for so it'll come to you kind of like this if this is the top and then it comes with all of these samples. I ordered five, and I'm gonna use a bunch of them in this video. But if you guys see something that I use in this video and you're like, oh, I really wanna try that, but you don't have the money or you just don't like to just waste your money on products that you don't know if you're even gonna like, um, this is a perfect way because they have all of the expensive makeup on this website. Kevin Kwan, Chanel, Hourglass, like everything. I couldn't believe what I was seeing on there. And they have a cruelty free tab, which I have never seen on a website. And it just makes my life so much easier because I can just bypass all that stuff I already know I'm not gonna buy. So anyway, it's gonna come to you like this. I got the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. So it comes like this. I have been wanting to try this Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer in SX2. I wanna use it for my concealer and I've been wanting to try this for probably like two years now but I just couldn't bring myself to buy the actual product because it's so expensive. This is $5. If you end up liking the product, you can use that $5 toward a the purchase of that gift. So you can actually buy it on the website. So I just think that is so cool. There's no real risk involved. I got this in SX2, but if you know about Kevin Aquan, this is so much product. I cannot believe it. This is probably going to last me like three months because you just need a tiny, tiny bit of it. So I'm excited about that. I also got the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Light. I've been wanting to try this contour for years again, and I'm really excited to use it. I'm going to be using it in this video, and if you want to try it out, I would try. I would get it on So Schwa. And then I got the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer. I tried that in store once, and I loved it, but I just haven't had like the time or the money to go in and buy it. So I finally picked that up. I also wanted to try out the Hourglass Foundation, and then I also got the NARS velvet lip glide and stripped so i'm excited about that i'll kind of wear that at the end i've been wanting to try that one too so i just want to tell you guys about this also if you guys see like a beauty guru who you always uses you know maybe expensive stuff or they use products that you want to try but maybe you don't have the money right now or you just want to see what it's like or you want to try a formula from something even if you want to try every single shade of a new chanel lipstick you can do that. So it's just a really cool thing. Um, I'm going to definitely keep ordering from them way beyond this video. So anyway, I'm going to stop blabbing so much and I'm just going to get on with this video. <laughs> First, I'm just going to start out with skincare. I use the Nivea Men's Aftershave Balm still. I use this. I had a, some questions last time I talked about this. I do use it as a moisturizer. I also do like it as a primer. So yeah, you just have to rub this in until it gets tacky and it does get tacky. Honestly, I think it works. I know there's a lot of people that might say that it doesn't work or they're trying to debunk it, but I think it works. I think it's a good product. Next, you guys can kind of see, I know this is like so lame, but you can kind of see that I have a zit right here. So if it's a red zit, I just dab a little bit of the like green concealer. You can use whatever green concealer you want. And then I have a little bit on my cheeks, so I just kind of go like that. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Also, if you have any around your nose, then I would put it there too. I do this before my foundation. I just like to do it that way. Some people do it after their foundation. Um, it's kind of up to you. Next, I'm going to go with my favorite foundation. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I use mine in 3 Light Beige. And it also has a pump, and this is from the drugstore. So it's pretty good cost-wise. Um, this is very, this is pretty full coverage, and you guys know I like full coverage. So I just take my beauty blender, and I pump it onto the back. I do like one and a half pumps to start. Uh, what I do is I put it on the parts of my face where I feel like need the most coverage. So right here, 
right here where I put that, right up here. That's where I start and put the foundation and then I blend it out. And this is a damp beauty blender, by the way. So I put it right there, right there, right there. Once I blended everything out, then I'm gonna take another pump. Next I'm gonna take for concealer the Kevin Kwan Sensual Skin Enhancer in SX2. This is the one that I got from um, so schwa so I just take a little bit on a concealer brush like the tiniest amount and then I just put it underneath my eyes See how little you need of this it's like I used way too much If you are somebody who suffers from really bad under eye circles Definitely try this out because it covers everything next I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just blend that out I really love the highlighted look that concealer that's a little bit lighter gives. It just wakes you up and opens your eyes a lot. Next, I just take some translucent powder and I set underneath my eye. But I just take it on my beauty blender like this. And then first, I kind of run it down the side of my nose. And like that. I take more again. I basically just do this in any areas that I have that I want to stay a lot longer. So that is what it should look like. So usually I will just let that sit for a few minutes while I do my brows or I work on my eyeshadow, whatever it is. I just take a Real Techniques brush and I wipe it away. So now I'm going to set my face. I use the Kat Von D powder and I use it in medium 52. I really like this powder, it's super full coverage, and I take a kabuki brush like this, you can use whatever one you want to, and I just, I press it into my skin. So I feel like that's where my routine is maybe a little bit different from other people's, because I press it in like this. If you do it where you push it into your skin like that, it kind of makes it look like it's your actual skin, and it looks a lot more natural, but it looks extremely flawless because it's like a really nice finish. This is the best tip I can give for like a really perfect flawless finish besides finding a really good foundation and of course having good skincare. When you push it in like this, you guys will see the difference. It looks so good. All right, now that my face is set, I can go in with the dry products. So I'm gonna use this Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Light. I'm gonna use a NARS Eda brush and then I'm just gonna contour my face. So what I like to do, sometimes I like to look down and you can kind of see better, but I also just kind of go like this, and you'll be able to see where that line is. This is the most perfect contour shade you will ever find. It's completely worth the money, but it is expensive, so try to go this route first if you want to try it. I like to take a brush like this that's kind of stiff, but it has a pointed end like this and then I just take the contour powder I'm gonna take the hourglass ambient lighting bronzer I do my bronzer slightly above where I did my contour because then it gives it a nice gradient effect in a really healthy look okay bronzer is done I'm going to take the Frat Boy blush from the Balm, and you can use whatever blush you want to, but. Okay, for highlighter, I'm going to take Champagne Pop from Becca, broken, but I'm just going to take a little bit. One of my favorite things to do to make my nose appear slimmer is to take this little Luxie, this is actually a concealer brush. And I just take it and I make a dot right here. It just helps my nose look really slim and I always like to do it. I also just like to go right here, it lifts my eyebrow. Alright, and then I am going to set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. If you feel like you have too much powder on your face, this will take away that powdery look or that cakey look. 
I like drenched myself in that, no big deal. All right, to finish off this look, I'm just going to line my lips. I'm using Candy K from Kylie Cosmetics. Because I want to, I want to try out this NARS Velvet Lip Glide in Stripped, just to see what it looks like. I really like that, that's like a really pretty nude. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. This is not for, you know, like every day, but I do wear this like if I'm getting my, if I know I'm getting my picture taken, or if I have like a big party or something that I want to go to, or I just want to look extra flawless that day, which is pretty much like every day, <laughs> then this is kind of what I do. This is my go-to. It looks super flawless. So this is my flawless face routine. Don't forget to check out So Schwa. I will have the links to everything down below if you want to get anything or check it out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!